What if I told you getting solar energy for your home is possible even if you rent your home or if your roof isn't perfect for it? In this video, we're going to take a look at community solar. We're going to talk about what it is, and we're going to see how that compares to traditional solar purchasing methods like buying your system outright or leasing it. As we all know, going with solar energy can help us save a decent amount of money on our energy bills. And while it's a very appealing solution in a lot of cases, it's not always going to be the perfect fit depending on what your situation is. So with community-based solar, basically these are giant solar farms that collect energy from the sun, and then consumers are able to purchase a share of that solar farm in order to supplement their energy needs. The basic way this works is you pay your community solar provider for credits towards your energy bill. And then your utility company will apply those credits to your monthly bill and that will reduce your overall electricity costs. There are a lot of different options when it comes to community solar pricing models as well. So I'm gonna have a chart on this screen that kind of breaks down the differences between the different models that you could see in your area. With a fixed discount subscription type, you can typically see between five to 20% savings over your total electricity bill. So let's look at a scenario here to see how this would break down. If you have a $100 a month electricity bill and you buy into a solar community that is promising to save you 10% per month, then effectively your $100 a month utility bill would reduce down to $90. There are other options as well, like escalating solar rates where you would pay a set rate for your solar bill credits and then in additional years, your solar weights would gradually increase by a fixed percentage, say for example, two and a half percent per year. But in those types of situations, it's also reasonable to assume that your electricity bill would scale faster than your solar rate would, so that will still save you money over time. The other type I wanna talk about briefly is the flat per kilowatt hour rate. And while this sounds appealing, it might take a little bit of time for you to see some savings because your initial rate that you might be paying into this model could be higher than your current electricity bill. So if that's the case, it's gonna take a little bit more time to realize those savings. Now, unlike subscription-based community solar, ownership-based community solar is a little bit different. These projects are typically owned by the developer or another organization, and they allow you to essentially own the energy that's being output from the solar panels. So with this model, you typically have to pay an upfront fee, but with a solar loan that can help you offset that initial cost. The subscription-based model is the most popular across the country, so if you don't have an ownership-based model in your area, then I wouldn't be too surprised by that. So because there are so many different programs and because there are so many areas where this varies, you do have to go to a reliable source in order to find your information. Now, fortunately, I've partnered with a company called Energy Sage, and Energy Sage has made it really easy to figure out this information by going to their marketplace. Their marketplace allows you to figure out what your options are without having to be inundated with endless sales calls. So if you're interested in community solar or if you're interested in really any solar solutions in general, I highly recommend going to energysage.com and I will have a link in the video description below that you can go and use to get to their website. Now, like anything else, there are pros and cons. So I've put together a comparison slide that I'm gonna show here that will kind of compare what community solar's pros and cons are compared to rooftop solar. So as you can see here with community solar, your main advantages are lower or no upfront costs. You'll have fixed or predictable rates that you can plan on and accessibility of solar. So if you are a renter, like I mentioned earlier, or if you really don't qualify for solar in any other way, community solar is probably going to be your best bet and maybe your only option, honestly, in your case. As far as rooftop solar is concerned, typically you'll see additional savings for the lifetime of the system because you're eliminating most or even all of the electricity bills once the system is fully paid off. Also with rooftop solar, you would qualify for additional incentives and rebates, such as different federal, state, and local incentives, rebates, and other tax credits that can significantly reduce the cost of purchasing a solar system outright. And homes with solar panels tend to see an increase in property value. Again, this is going to depend on your area. So if you're considering selling your house in the short term or even the long term, you may want to consult with a local licensed realtor to see how it can affect your home's value over time. No matter what the model is, you need to understand three critical factors. The first is knowing how much money you will pay per watt. Knowing the price per watt will allow you to compare community solar and other models in an apples to apples way. You also need to understand how much energy your share is going to produce. And this can vary quite a bit depending on the efficiency of the panels and other features. So you need to really understand how much energy you are going to be getting from the specific community solar program that you're looking at. You also need to understand that the share cost includes other things such as additional equipment that's needed, administrative costs, operations costs, and other maintenance costs that can affect your overall savings. Make sure the offer that you're seeing takes all of these factors into account so that way you can understand the true savings you'll see with your home electricity bill. I've said it before and I'll say it again, every situation is different. That's why it's really important to understand what your options are. So again, I'll have a link in the video description below that you can go to energysage.com and do some additional research on your own and see what makes the most sense. Between purchasing solar solutions, 
leasing them and community solar, there's bound to be a solution that will fit anyone's needs. So be sure to do your research, check out energysage.com. I also have another selection of additional videos that you might find helpful. I'll link to those in the video description as well. But otherwise, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and be sure to check out this one video that I've selected here next. I'm sure this will be helpful for you as well. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.